It was kind of unreal because I never really expected the film to go this far. I mean, when I finished it, I knew I had a good quality project that I was proud of. But, I mean, I didn't know it would be competitive on a national level. And on the somewhat lighter side, from the Westminster College, the unfortunate history of the AMC pacer, Joseph Leo, <coughs> producer. But one of the things I noticed immediately is uh, he mispronounced my name, but, you know, that happens. This is a jaunty look back in time of how Carr goes from drawing board to assembly line to wild success and ultimately into oblivion. It just felt kind of amazing to see my work up there on the big screen. It makes you feel like, wow, I am on the right track, I'm in the right career field, you know, and, and I love what I do, so I think that's great. <laughs> You thank the Academy Foundation, you thank Westminster College and all the great people there who helped me along the way, my professors, advisors, consultants. Um, I thank Ethan Johnston, one of my fraternity brothers who was a grip on our two-day shoot out in Indiana, uh, the Drinko Center because they gave me money to help make this project a reality. Uh, to thank people like Vince Geraci and Patrick Foster, both people with strong connections to AMC who gave me some great information along the way. A very rich history brought to life through those two. I thank the whole crew at Motor Week on uh, PBS because of John Davis and Pat Goss were both interviewed in the film, but also the other people there who taught me things and helped me get a hold of archive footage and really took my film to the next level with the help they gave me. And one of the groups I thank the most is the American Motors Owners Association, all these collectors who are dedicated to preserving the history of these cars and people that let me film their cars and interview them and, and one woman, uh, Carol, even let me drive her pacer. So I owe her a lot because to be able to drive and to film and have that kind of freedom was really awesome. And then of course I would thank my parents who let me have enough time away from the farm that I could go do this project and who supported me uh, even though it was tough. And, and of course uh, I would thank God, the, as I said, the giver of all good gifts, creativity being one of them.